what is up you guys it is Ivor Person. welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach and the first couple of minutes that you guys are watching right now are going to be uh, me speeding up on Dr. Terror all the way from stage number one to stage number nine and then whenever you reach stage number 10 I'm going to be commentating the rest of the Dr. Terror run so that way you guys will have something to watch in the meantime and I'll meet you guys back again once we actually reach that Okay, so that was Terror Stage 1 through 9, and right now we're back again. I'm using the Grenadiers, only Grenadiers, because in the last episode I asked you guys to drop a suggestion in the comment section down below. Uh, once again, you know, feel free to drop any suggestions in the comment section down below, and I'll take them into consideration. But Dr. Boom Clash asked me, or at least he suggested me to do all Grenadiers. So that's what I'm going to be doing. There's actually a, a pretty interesting one out there. So let's just see how this one's going to be going. I do have my statues boosted up. So right now, Gumball Masterpiece 82% and my troop damage is 56% and we are currently having uh, 83 uh, Gumball energy. So I'm doing really well and I, upgrade, I can upgrade a lot of stuff down there as well. I'm actually considering on saving up for my headquarters. I'm almost there. I need a little bit more wood and a little, little bit more stone. So I'm definitely considering doing that or just the gunboat because the gunboat is also a nice thing to be upgrading. So I'm not entirely sure. It's probably just going to be the um, the headquarters though. Or me maybe even the armory. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's going to be the headquarters though. But I need some resources in order to do so. As you guys can see at the right top corner, I got 13,000 gems. And that is going to be for an up upcoming episode in the future. That is Diamond Frenzy, which I'm going to go ham on spending those diamonds. But I need some diamonds in order to recharge the units. So how about we just go ahead and give this one a roll and see how well we're gonna be able to do with this only grenadier tactics that we have all going over here so as you guys can see I haven't been using grenadiers in a while but I do know they're actually really powerful and that essentially what we want to be taking out are buildings that are gonna be doing a ton of damage on us so uh, that includes the rocket launchers so uh, that's what I'm gonna be focusing on right now only the rocket launchers for now so uh, we got this we got you as well I'm not really concerned with machine guns, truthfully. I think machine guns will be just fine. I don't need to focus on those. Holy moly. Two artilleries and, uh, and, and one barrage in order to take those out. That's actually pretty much. So here we go. Units are unleashed. Oh my god, look at this. Please take out, like, some machine gun, bro. Oh my god. 
You guys are drunk, aren't you? Yep, you guys are drunk. Definitely drunk. Holy moly. That is insane. Okay, drop the shock bomb down there. Okay, get there. And now you gotta be healing yourself up there because you actually do got a lot of damage down there. Which is really crazy. Now take out the... Uh, take out the boom cannon, if you will. Okay, it doesn't seem like you guys are gonna be taking out the boom cannon, but... Oh, this is definitely a challenge. Thank you for the suggestion, Dr. Boom Clash. This is like a crazy challenge. I'm really curious if I'm gonna be able to pull this one off. Okay, gonna keep them healed up because uh, obviously, you know, machine gun. I want to be taking care of the boom cannon, that's one thing for sure. So, please take it up, take it up. Yeah, thank you. And then... It is just the sniper tower. I'm gonna get a little bit closer to the sniper tower. Because uh, that way we're able to hit it fairly easily. I hope. I'm not sure. Okay, there we go. One more hit. There you go. And now it's just the HQ. Oh my god, this is definitely like a whole different like level of gameplay here. I haven't really tried a Grenadier since the moment they came out. They had a lot of fun like trying out different types of troop combinations. But just Grenadiers on themselves, like they're actually really powerful. And I don't know if you guys actually read uh, the Boomich Facebook page or Twitter. But pretty recently they actually um, had like 6 tips to enhance your Grenadier gameplay. And... Uh, and maybe if I'm able to like show them to you guys or pop them or something like that, I think I should be getting closer. Because uh, that way we're going to be able to do more damage even, even better. We are going to be getting a ton of damage from the mortar. Oh! Yeah, the mortar's taken out. Okay, that's awesome. We didn't really like actually lose or anything like that. So I think I'm doing a great job there. I'm still really curious to know like um, if your own units are getting some damage. Because I don't think we are ever going to be getting damage at least not from this distance so there's actually a grenadier over here that's aiming onto this machine gun which is really strange because he was aiming onto the headquarters earlier so um basically there was this article with six tips to win with the grenadiers and i'm actually going to read them out to you guys so um basically um if you're able, if you want to be hitting the the uh, towers and stuff like that, or just if you want to be hitting uh, uh, the headquarters, you got to be going up closer because uh, that is just the, the way to go. And the, the issue that I'm going to be facing over here uh, is that um, time is going to be a big issue. Like, as you guys can see, only 41 seconds left. And we did manage to take out the base, but that was only because I was getting closer and closer. So that is definitely going to be an issue down there. So let me actually go ahead... And get my grenadiers back. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to take down the next stage. Because the Dr. Terror has powered up once again. I might be able to. But I'm not sure. So what do we see over here? We see actually three rocket launchers. That are going to be a pest. Like a true pest. Let me see. Hmm... Got two shock lunches at the right side as well. <laughs> oh my god, yo, I kind of feel that this is impossible, but you know what? I don't know. We're just gonna give this one a go anyway. Let's just see how well we're gonna be doing on this. Um, so, how do I want to do this? <laughs> I really got no clue. Man, Grenadiers. Uh, let's just focus on this. Taking that rocket launcher out, taking this one out, two artillery to take it out, there you go, awesome, two for this two as well, there you go, then um, I don't got the energy to do another barrage plus two artillery, so how about we go ahead and actually get some grenadiers working here. So, 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 know what they're saying, they sound <laughs> Ha ha ha, ha ha ha, like a French, like a French guy or something like that. I don't know. Okay, move, move. Thank you. They're gonna be zapped. Okay, how much damage do you guys get? You guys got like six hits, and you guys you're gonna be gone. About six hits, yeah. So uh, that's going to be uh, that's going to be tricky. I think we are gonna be fine though. At least at least in the beginning part. So. 
I want to be going over here um, a little bit further down so that way I can keep those shocked and also healed up so I want to hopefully take out the sniper tower as well alongside with the other machine gun so that's what we're aiming for right now so as you guys can see the machine gun is getting uh, quite a bit of damage which is really nice oh the mortar is kind of hitting on them too and the sniper tower is almost gone which is awesome yeah okay the machine gun is gone then after this, oh, I need to heal up like some of the grenadiers down there. Don't die, don't die on me, don't die on me. Yeah, you guys didn't die, awesome. Okay, we made it up there, awesome. First obstacle gone, but we actually lost a lot of life already. So yeah, we gotta be careful here. But rest assured, it is not over yet completely. Okay, this mortar is gonna be gone. And then, no, I actually should be going in a straight line there. I'm gonna be dropping one shock there. So that way we can make our way up to wherever need we need to get make our way up to. Take out the machine gun too. That would be really awesome. Let me just take it out myself then. Okay. And oh damn. I forgot about the rocket launcher as well. Oh no. Oh no. I don't got energy. Oh snap. <laughs> Yo, I may have made the biggest mistake out here. I don't know. Okay, gather up smoke. Oh my god. Yeah, this is this is like so rough. Maybe I should add like a tank into the mix or something like that. I'm not sure. This is really rough. Because you see, look how much we're losing here. But both of these are firing away. Like, this is going to be impossible, right? So, what I'm going to be doing is I tried. Like, that's that's the first thing. That's the first part. I at least tried. <laughs> you actually are firing onto that uh, rocket launcher down there. But, yeah. There's four rocket launchers to consider. And two shock, uh, shock launchers as well. That is really, really tough. So, I'm actually just, you know. I tried it out with, with Grenadiers. It didn't really work out that well. So, let's continue on with the Warriors down here. Because, uh. I do know I'm able to take out this stage with warriors for sure. So let's get our warriors into the mix. Just like that. Gonna heal those bad boys up. And let's do this from a different approach. So uh, this time we're using the warriors. We got uh, different things to consider. Uh, first thing I want to be taking out is that. There you go. Then it's just a matter of walking to the base, right? Yeah. It's just a matter of walking to the base. But before we do that, I actually want to be picking up all of that energy down there. Because all of that energy is basically free. Free for us to grab. Okay, awesome. Make your way up there, guys. Okay, so you guys did. Awesome. Two. Three, four. Oh, I am losing some warriors up there, but that's going to be fine. I got a lot of damage, so let me drop two medkits here. So, what do I want to be shocking? You, you. And keep myself healed up. That, I think, is the best plan. Or well, maybe I should have kept some shocks just in case. I'm not sure. Ooh, this is going to be a close one. Come on, make it up there. You're so close, guys. You're so close. No! Come on, a couple of hits. No, no. Oh my God, I'm gonna try one more time. And if I don't make it then we're gonna be calling it an episode. Jeez, that sucks. That really sucks. I think I should just drop a barrage here instead. There we go. That means his dad is out of the way. You can just focus on uh, taking down the base instead. So, I want to be walking in a straight line here. So, first we want to be going to that. Just like this. Yeah, it looks good. Not entirely straight, but... um. Oh, oops. Yeah, that, is, that was just stupid. Oh my god. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was just... That was just retarded. The way I did that just now was just like absolutely a no-go. Oh, that was stupid of me. We lost so much force there, though. I forgot that I had the... Um, I forgot I had my... Uh, I was logged onto the machine gun instead of the headquarters. Maybe I should just go to the headquarters instead then. Wow. I cannot believe I'm having so much trouble. It's terror stage number 11. This one's really easy. This one is actually easy. But I want to de I want to beat it with warriors. Because, you know, tanks and medics and, and, and heavy zooka is kind of slow. Like, I like the speed of the warriors. It's kind of what I'm used to. You know? So, um, let's do the same thing here. And this time we're actually going to, like, analyze stuff. So, over here, I'm seeing this. This little triangle. Boom, there you go. Additional energy, that's what I need. And look, we didn't take, we didn't even take all of this down. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. I cannot do anything about that. Now, mines. Of course, we want to be taking out a few mines here and there. And this one over there as well. Okay, so we got 76 energy to work with. If I don't make this, I'm a disaster. Yeah, this should be good. No problems there whatsoever. Make your way up to the base. Uh, first checkpoint, I mean. Awesome, you you guys made it up there. Then moving on to the second one. Look at... Ooh, I was going to say look at that, but... Okay. Oh my god, I didn't hit the shock. Jeez, Raph, what the... I don't even care anymore. I don't even freaking care anymore. This is just stupid. I don't know what the hell is wrong with me. What I'm doing wrong. Yeah, I do know what I'm... I know what I'm doing wrong. I'm just a freaking idiot. I'm a big stupid idiot. That's what I am. And I'm wasting diamonds like f for nothing. So, you know what? I, I need some time to cool down a little bit because this is not going anywhere... What I'm going to be doing is wrapping this episode off here. I'm just going to leave it to that. Just pretend as if I didn't make it up to stair stage number 12. Because, yeah, I'm just obviously an idiot. But still, regardless of that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure that if you guys like this video, to boom, give it a thumbs up. And that being said, this has been Reversal for Boom Beach. I'm going to be signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next one.